to build a fish tank sump, first of all, I recommend you buy a sump. I don't recommend you make one because you're probably setting yourself up for more problems than, than it's worth. But if you're enthusiastic and experienced enough to, to try this, basically the needs of a reef sump, which is what you would build a sump for, are it's just a, a, a vessel to hold water. It's also going to hold your protein skimmer, your mechanical filter, your carbon, your floss. So I would copy a regular reef sump that's out there now and just try to duplicate that. But basically, you, I would start with a, with a fish tank, like a 30 gallon fish tank usually works well. It's three feet long, 12 inches wide, like 15 inches high, perfect proportion for a reef tank. You'd have the effluent from your overflow box dump in one end of the sump and dump into a micron sock, which will filter out a lot of the, the particulates in the water. And that you clean like once every week or so until it overflows. And then you'd have a protein skimmer in the chamber that the water first goes in. The reason for having a protein skimmer there is to give the skimmer access to the nutrients before they have a chance to go through the rest of the filter system and to also allow the fine bubbles to, to be released in the beginning of the filter as opposed to the end where the return pump will pump them back up into the aquarium. So you have your micron sock, your protein skimmer, you could also put a carbon bag there and then you can put your mechanical filter like your filter floss or your sponge as a pre-filter to your main return pump. Now to section everything off, most people use egg crate, which you buy at Home Depot. It comes in two by four foot sheets. So it's like sealing uh, light material. It's uh, just a white egg crate. And you can cut it with a scissor or with any kind of saw. And you can silicone it using aquarium safe silicone to make barriers inside the sump. This will section off all your chambers. And then within these egg crate barriers, you can put floss, you can put square sponges, and that's the easiest way to build a fish, a fish tank filter. Uh, you can get into working with acrylic, getting the special glues, the, the saws, but that's a different, that's a different video altogether. And uh, that's really for the experienced person because if you glue it and it doesn't hold water tight, it's gonna pop two, three weeks from now. It's gotta be braced right. You gotta use really thick acrylic. So I recommend just going with a regular 30 gallon fish tank. Uh, and you could save yourself some money. It's, it's actually pretty easy to do. Thank you.